Uh, this is a, a letter from Natalie. She says, thank you for addressing this, Penny. I don't feel people are fully appreciating how long this is going to take. Yeah, right. People are going to have to make confronting and real life changes, and only then are they walking a new path. Yep. Waking up starts in their field, but to ground the changes in their body, well, we all have a long way to go. Yeah. It starts, you start thinking, and then slowly you start moving forward. Well, how about if we do this instead? Or I don't want to do that anymore. Or I'm not paying attention to that. And so on and so forth. I think it's really good to talk about the reality of the changes people will need to make in their individual lives. I.e. change of home, partner, job, etc. Many awake people are still choosing to get the shot simply because they can't see a life beyond what they are in now. And that that's really true. Oh, um, and, and a lot of people are getting that shot, so things will go back to normal. Mm -mm, that's not going to happen. And they're going to feel betrayed. And I'm hoping that that sense of betrayal will provide enough of a kick in the butt to say, well, I'm not playing your game anymore. I'm going over here. I'm doing this. So, so, uh, so Natalie says, that's where the courage will separate the wheat from the chaff. Oh, yeah. What is your take on this? Will the ability to make new choices create a divide in humanity before we can reach unity? I'm going to say that the divide is already happening. We may, and I don't know for sure, those people who refuse to do anything to heal from the shot, um, they may end up leaving. And if that's the case, that's going to disrupt whatever family they were in. And that will then bring about the, sort of the reassessment you're talking about, Natalie, which is change of home, change of job, change of partner, change of career, um, you know, everything. Everything. So we may divide before we can reach unity. That's all there is to it. Um, and we have to be willing to keep moving forward and to say, come on, I think people will not be able to move forward unless they can, can get a better idea of what that world will look like. And that is actually why Daphne and I are putting this revival thing together. Um, I'm working on it now. We're about, I'm about, there's 12 sectors of our world that are going to change vastly and i'm on sector i think five or six so not quite halfway through um and it still needs some polishing <laughs> but the goal is to present not only a picture of what could be but to um bring up the questions it's kind of a little um the revival is a handbook or a manual of questions where people can get together and ask themselves these questions um, in order to understand or get clarity about what did we have, um, what's working, what is not working that we need to let go of, and what do we have to do in ourselves or envision in order to make this new world come about. So um, it's a uh, it's a little booklet where you can, you know, take one sector at a time and explore with family or friends, um, or even just read it, you know, for yourself, and then start talking about it. That's, you know, that's really an important piece. Um, I hope, fingers crossed, that there will be more of us moving to that new earth and getting really excited about the possibilities and um and everything about that new way of living and being i hope that that's the majority of us so 
ones who don't want to come along with us, who don't want to take responsibility for themselves. Well, I think some of them who who don't want to take responsibility for themselves will come along anyway because it just looks better and because it's working. Others, we may lose a few. We may lose a few. So, um, yeah. Chin up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I think maybe we'll, we'll have some conversation about the changes that have to be made in individual lives. It's kind of like um, people who face retirement. They quit, you know, they're done working for the first three or four months. They're like, well, what do I do with myself? You know, that's, there's a transition. I learned about that when I left Chrysler and, and decided that I was, you know, gonna, that I was gonna, well, it's long and complicated. Just leave it at this. I left Chrysler and decided that I was going to go to school full time. And when I did not have a job to go to, to structure my time and my days, it took me about five months to make that adjustment to where I felt and knew that I was in charge of my life. And people who are used to letting the job structure their life and take charge of their time, their energy, their money, their activity, that's a huge trans transition, huge. So five or six months of chaos, everybody at one time, like, ah. So in a sense, it's been a blessing that some people lost jobs and others continued on. Some people's businesses closed and others continued on. There's a whole lot of what I call consciousness sitting and waiting for direction that I think is all going to come together at once. Okay, thanks a lot, Natalie. Good question. <laughs>